Mm, nailed it. What's up, guys? It's Olivine City. Ready to kick off Masters Battle League. And uh, I'm thriving. Don't know what to expect. Never played Trey and Pokemon before, which is always a little nerve wracking. Wild card. He could clap me. Or he might just be absolute garbage. I feel better about my odds, I will say. I think I've got a better team. I've got more experience. But, you know, still get the jitters. I just don't really know what to expect. Because honestly, like, Trey's the kind of dude that could be good at any game that he plays. Oops, disconnected from the internet. <laughs> well, you kind of have to be connected to the internet to play an online game. Let's see, Link Battle? No, let's not do that. I think I've already got a request. Yeah, I do. I wish that the fire... This is not related at all, but I wish that the fire colors for the... The biking outfit didn't have blue. I have no idea why it has blue. And every time I try to get it painted, it still has blue. No matter which Pokemon it's based off of. Makes me mad. Because I did this with Cinderace, and then I used Blaziken to try to get a different color. Still blue. And the guy actually roasts you if you try to use the same color. He's like, it's not going to change, man. Nonetheless. Nevertheless. Here I go. Fire. I love, I love fire. Oh, it's time. I was just about to say, I love fire Pokemon. I'm bringing two fire Pokemon, two Pokemon with a fire typing on them. Blaziken and Heatran. Um, let's see, I'll decide myself. Select the battle rules. Okay, single battle, normal rules. No restrictions, normal rules. Yeah, sets everybody to 50. 20 minute time. I hate that, dude. Okay, so are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, and if you guys have been following the leagues like over the last few seasons, you would know that I've never played it on this game. I have played it on Showdown every time. Um, I have no idea. Let's do champ. Can I do champ? Or was that? Yeah, let's do champ. Uh, okay, and select my party. Yeah, so I played it on showdown, and so it's been a real grind to even get my team ready, and I'm not super comfortable with the way the game flows still. Um, like, having a time limit. I'm used to being able to, like, really think through things. I'm not taking it too much time, but still think through things. All right, let's uh, let's a battle begin. Let's go for it. But yeah, so I don't know, man. I don't really know what to expect. I've never had a turn limit or a turn timer, match timer. Um, battle will end because somebody ended the communicate. Oh, I guess I win. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I search again. I don't remember the code. You and another one. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Set the same code. Three, two, one, four. That's actually the year I was born. And then three, six, five, eight is the year I'm gonna die. Just a little tidbit for you, for you mega fans out there. I know there's some Olivine FC fanatics. Well, guess what? It's not a FC anymore. It's just a C. Yeah, 
If you guys have haven't seen the new logos, like go check the new logos out. Should be in the Discord. They're really, really good. Especially mine. I really like my new logo. It's crisp. Oh, it's mailbox Pokemon collect letters from. Yeah, um, just still waiting, still searching. I think everything's good. Let's, uh, let's give you guys a close-up on the fit. I'm gonna go inside the Poke Center, break down my outfit. Because, honestly, Teen Vogue could never. Look at me. I got the hat from Nessa's stadium, because that's, like, the closest Olivine one that I could find. The glove is the dragon glove, though, because that's like a navy blue, and that kind of actually matches the color. Jeans, you got to go with the slightly torn jeans. And then you got the, the black jacket. Something Leanna noticed was that there's like flannel on the side, and I think that's the undies. Could be wrong, because it's on the pants, and it's only sh it only shows up when I'm wearing these pants. So like... <laughs> I guess it's my boxers? I don't really know. Got the white backpack. Um, that was more because I, when I was trying to like practice, I kept getting the away team. And usually a wave where it's white. And at least the kind of football that I like. So, anyway. Still got the white backpack on. Alright. I'll decide myself. Select the battle rules. Single battle. Normal rules. Are you okay? I'm okay with normal rules. I'm okay with other things. Maybe not. I'm angsty right now. All right. Champ's cursed because that kicked us out of the game. So we're going to go just gym leader. Anticipating team. Um, I can't rent another trainer's team. Guess we'll use the party. Oh, I got nerves. I, my biggest thing is I don't know who's going to send out first. A lot of my Pokemon have really good responses to him and his Pokemon. But I just don't know how it's going to start off. And so I'm probably going Tyranitar just to start it off with a Sandstorm. And just kind of gauge the situation. I have a feeling he's going Venusaur and then I'm going to have to switch. If he goes Venusaur, obviously I'm not leaving Tyranitar in there. I'm just going to get rocked. So I'm going probably Kartana after that. Um, I've got a couple surprises on Kartana. And uh, specifically, I'm, I'm excited about that. I don't know. I'll either go Kartana or I'll go Blaziken. My, I'm worried about Blaziken because I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that Venusaur is packing something that Blaziken would get worked by. Can't exactly remember. Keep this in mind, guys. I like barely even know what, what boosts against what in terms of typings. It's like actually bad. <laughs> like, I get the intuitive ones, right? Water boosts against fire. Okay, yeah, I got it. Fire boosts against grass. That makes sense. But then there's just curveballs that I just, I have a hard time remembering. Like, fairy is weak to steel. That one always, for, I always forget that. And then Sylveon gets rocked. I've used Sylveon every single league so far. Anyway, here we go. He's got Weavile, Incineroar, Gardevoir, Venusaur, Blissey, I think. And then Kingdra. So, <sighs> who's he coming out with? Is Incineroar weak to ice? Let me check that. I've got Smog on up right here because I would die without it. Oh, this is. I meant Tyranitar. I need to know if Tyranitar is weak to ice. Let's see. Alright, Tyranitar. Okay. Oops. All right, let's just let's just go T-Tar, baby. Let's go. It don't even it don't matter after that, but let's freaking go. Cartana with the scope lens. I'm I'm hype about that, and I'm hype about Blaziken. So let's freaking let's get it. All right, here we go. Maybe Olivine week one. All right, Trey. Really? 
I guess he hasn't had a chance to change this thing yet, probably. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt on this one. Let's, what stadium are we at? Is this my stadium? I never, I haven't gotten it yet. Is this it? This is not it. Okay, crap. <laughs> okay, King drew it right off the bat. So let's, uh, let's think about this. I missed what that said. I didn't really see what that said in the bottom corner. Alright, well, we gotta get out of here, obviously. So, uh, I might go here. Because I'm running freeze dry. And I don't know if he's expecting that. I'm not going here, not going there. It's either here or Kyurem, and I'm, I'm guessing Kyurem. It's hard switch. Is King your Dragon type? I actually just thought of that crap. Oh no. <laughs> this is bad. Please don't be a dragon move. Oh. Bless. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. I know. I'm almost 100% sure he's not. he doesn't know I'm running this. If you guys don't know about freeze dry, this is freeze dry. Super effective on water types. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. I could also go Dragon Pulse, but, um, I mean, actually, Dragon Pulse would probably be smarter, realistically, because I am, I am Choice Scarf. Oh, that's hard. I don't even know why I'm running Freeze Dry if I Choice Scarf and Dragon Pulse. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um... Do that. I don't know why I brought Free Strike. I was just really excited about it, too. Alright, I think he's going... Oh, bless! I should have freaking done it, dude. Yep. Okay, now he's got pressure on that. I should have just... That's why I, I... I thought through all of this, and then I don't think it through in the moment. That's a good switch. I can't say anything about that. Question is, now where do we go? Gardevoir's... Gardevoir's Fairy and Psychic, I think. Might go here. Might go here. Mm. Let's go here. Let's go here. Really hard bummer, because I think I would have... I could have gotten some serious damage on Gardevoir there. Hypnosis, what does that do? Oh, he avoided it, that's good. I, I gotta figure out what Hypnosis does. Um, but here we go. Gardevoir, he's probably switching. He's not gonna, I don't think he's staying in. He knows it's, it's Kartana, it's got Steel. He's getting out of there. Question is, where is he going? Maybe Incineroar? Um, I might just go with Sacred Sword right now. I think I'm doing that. Switch from Sacred Sword. He's got to switch out. Yeah, he's switching out. Incineroar, let's go, baby. Let's see if this Oko's. Let me get a crit. Give me a crit. I'm hungry. Give me a crit. Sacred Sword. Oh, no crit. That sucks. It is super effective, though. And I am faster. That, that does suck. Um, at least I think I'm faster. What's Incineroar? I mean, he's got a fire move. It's just, it's, am I faster or not? That's the question. Is this a risk I'm willing to take? Um, is, I'm looking at Smogon and Incineroar's got 60 base speed, so I feel like that's a risk I can take. Fake out. Okay, that's a normal move. I mean, will I flinch? Yeah, I flinch, but whatever. Fine. We're running Sacred Sword again. Stay in, baby. Stay in. Incineroar is one of the only Pokemon on this team I'm worried about. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually like, my knees are like shaking. Like I have raw adrenaline. <gasps> so what stadium is that then? Okay, withdrew. Listen. Bro, that's gonna Oko. 
No, it's not. Bro, I, can I not get a crit? I'm running scope lens. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's literally super... That's two in a row super effective moves that didn't crit and would have O-Code. Whatever. We're running Sacred Sword again. Okay, that's gonna kill. Dang. Bless, man. Okay, that guy's gone. Beast boost, baby. Beast boost, baby! Beast boost, baby! Communication with the... Oh, no. Are you serious right now, dude? Internet's still good on my end. So, uh... Update? Oh. Here's Nathaniel to explain. All right, guys, we got the rule in here. Sorry for my horrible look. I was doing a field day. Uh, so the ruling is going to be a 6-0 uh, in Olivine City's favor. Uh, talked with uh, Snowpoint. We are going to be moving on in the, uh, week two. There were some issues on his end. Uh, and so uh, we won't go into details about it. Uh, but we will be moving on to week two. Uh, because of the ab abrupt ending, it will be a 6-0 for Olivine that will go to his point difference. All right, so for week two, Olivine is actually going to go up against uh, Duford. So Duford Town, which is going to be Corbin uh, versus Michael and his squad for Olivine City is going to be playing next week. And so you should be able to see that sometime. Uh, we'll next Sunday. And again, like I said, we, if you want more Olivine City action, we can definitely set up some scrimmages with other teams to be able to provide you guys with some more Olivine action because they are currently ranked number two overall. Uh, but if you talk to Philip uh, Cinnabar Island FC's uh, coach, they are currently favored in his end. So they got arguably the one, solidly the two uh, in this league. And so uh, it's really cool to see his team in action. So with that, you all have a fantastic night, and I do look forward uh, to seeing you all soon. Take care. Bye.